What's up guys, Ryan here. So this is another video in response to a question I saw in my Facebook group, which if you're not a member of, go ahead and check it out. I mean, I'm basically giving out and dishing out the free information, helping people any way, shape or form that I can, getting up and running with their e-commerce passive income businesses, specifically Amazon Merch, Amazon FBA, and non-Amazon Merch uh, print on demand, which I just call drop shipped print on demand. But someone was asking, what are the uh, the limits that Amazon imposes when you're pushing new print on demand products to the Amazon catalog through Seller Central using the Printful integration? And it's actually it's not unique to the Printful integration. It could be through Gearbubble, which I know is really common, or any other integration that you're using with Seller Central to create print on demand products for sale on Amazon using a G10 exemption. So the answer from my experience is. It definitely depends. Um, I tend, I, so what I would do is when I was using Gearbubble, this would be the dashboard from Gearbubble to push products. I would push three products at a time, but each product was a single ASIN. So it was really like up to three listings at a time. And on average, I would only push two at a time, to be honest, because I didn't know if three was pushing it. I think if you exceed three at a time, you're most likely going to get throttled. And then when you try to push listings, they're going to fail. So if you are pushing listings and seeing them fail, I think everybody finds this out the hard the hard way um, at least once. But it's probably because you got throttled by Amazon and lost your ability to push new products for you know some period of time. For me, I mean, I could be completely off, but like I would wait as long as a week before trying to push new products. Um, they don't do a good job of like emailing you or notifying you when you're okay to push products again. And I didn't know if pushing too soon and them failing meant that it would extend the uh, the lockout time. So with Gearbubble, I didn't create parent-child relationship products. I just pushed, even if it was the same design, I'd put it on four different mugs, let's say, and then push all four as individual listings. That way I dominate a little bit more of the search results. With Printful, it's not uncommon to, if you push like a Gildan 64,000 t-shirt and you do white, black, royal blue, and sport gray, you're going to have essentially like four child listings and you're not going to get throttled for doing that. But at the same time, like, and this is, this is, I'm, this isn't something I've really experimented with. Like I've been completely cool with just pushing one printful product to Amazon at a time and knowing that I won't get throttled. And the way that I work it when I do the uh, printful route is, so this is a screenshot. I blurred out the uh, product names, but essentially when I see suppressed on the parent and then incomplete on the children, I wait until those are gone and the and this is the inventory tab by the way. So you log into Seller Central, the top tab, inventory and then hit manage inventory. And this is your inventory view. And uh, essentially your new products that are being pushed are always going to show up at the top. I just wait until the suppressed and incompletes are gone under the status column, which is the second column on the left-hand side. When that's gone, I push a new product on Printful or if I was going to mix Printful and Gearbubble which I've done in the past, but now I'm doing primarily uh, all Printful. Um, I would you could start pushing from Gearbubble as well, uh, and that's pretty much it. I mean, let me know if you have any questions that I didn't address, if I missed anything. But when you're throttled again, when you're throttled, it's hard to know that you're throttled. The only way to really tell is that all your attempts of pushing new products to Amazon will most likely fail. Um, so take the hint and give it a little bit of time, give it a buffer of at least a couple days before you try to push new products again, regardless of if you're using Printful, Gearbubble, or whatever else. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. If it helped you out, please hit that like button. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, comments, feedback, hit me up below and I'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at riotsmethod.com. Thank you.